place of divine intellectual thinking, where Hikaru plays his best chess, where Magnus plays his best chess, where I play my best chess. Hmm. Okay. Well, I mean, it's it's pretty obvious why you play your best chess there. We we obviously know. It's not it's not it's not about the toilet. It's because in the toilet you can there's something you can take to the toilet with you. What is this? Every chess YouTube video. Me clicks on any chess or GM Hikaru YouTube video. YouTube. It's time to take control of your journey toward chess mastery. Mastery. Magnus Carlsen introduces Chessable. <laughs> Nice. Nice. Very nice. Super Grand Master, more like Super Grand Farter. Unfunny joke. A common strategy in chess is to pretend the other player farted. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, dude. So basically what they're saying, I, if, if I understand this meme correctly, um, it's basically you try to look as, as, as like weird and random towards your opponent, right? That's what they're trying to say. Something like that. They aren't holding their noses, but they they... they I guess yeah, it's close enough. But but still, I, I get I get the point. Yeah. Anyway, let's keep going. Okay. I, I I kind of wish chess computers were still derpy instead of gods. Gary, are you okay? You hit your head pretty hard. Deep blue. Stockfish. What are you talking about? You just adjourned with Anatoly. We have a game to analyze. Nice. Okay. Found a young Hikaru in 1999 chess magazine in my classroom. Um, the final standings. Oh, yes, of course, you guys. I remember this tournament very well. So this tournament was in 1990. This was 1999, I believe it was. Um, the U.S. Cadet Chess Championship, which I played in Nashville, Tennessee. And in the tournament, there were many players in it. Now, as you'll see, the winner was Jordi Montrenault, who went 5-2. and two. It was seven rounds. Um, I finished in fifth place on 3.5, three 3.5. And, three and, and I think I lost, a, I lost a very tough game to Jordi, who was the eventual winner of the tournament. Tournament, but this was the under 18 event what i do remember however very well was that um i did win my final round game against daniel fernandez in a sicilian night orf, which i will show you guys in a second um in i believe 17 moves and that actually got that won the brilliancy prize for the tournament um what you what you will uh what what was i gonna say i was gonna say something else yeah so i i lost the game to jordy i also lost the game on time to matthew who extra in this tournament and yeah i lost on time and then you see you see a speed run uh, there as well um so so this tournament was very memorable i think i'll, I'll try to find the game uh very briefly it was it was in this it was in the uh, silly night or if this knight bd7 knight b6 b5 knight b6 h6 line um of the English attack that Gary Kaspar was playing a lot against Vichy Anand. Um, so I'm just going to find the game very quickly. But as I was saying, part of the uh, the fun thing, as I remember this very well, is that there was a gift bag. And in the gift bag, what they gave was they gave us a, a hockey puck, which was signed by someone on the Nashville Predators. And there was also a cap. Uh, I think it was a Tennessee Titans cap. It was the old cap. Now, that cap I still do have. It's it's back in White Plains, New York. Um Whenever I have the chance to go back there, maybe, you know what, actually, I'll, I'll write to my stepfather and ask him to bring the cap out here when, when he comes out in a couple of weeks. But the original cap, which is a Titans cap, I remember that like it was part of the gift bag and they were an expansion team. So I, I naturally just followed the team that year. And of course, that was the year that the Titans went to the Super Bowl. They, there was a Music City Miracle with um, Frank Wycheck and that whole game against the Buffalo Bills in the playoffs. Um, but there was that cap. And so because of that cap and just that got me into football more and um and I became sort of a lifelong Titans fan after that. So just thought just thought I would mention that very uh, very briefly. But yeah, so that that's that that's, that this was a very memorable event. What I don't know is whether this magazine was Chess Life or Chess Mates, the the other chess magazine that was that that was um, that was uh, around at the same time. I, I Doc found the game. Oh, is this the game? Yes, it is right. Okay, so let's pop it up. So here is the game. I'll just show this game very briefly. Game of the week. Um, to this week's game is chosen because tomorrow, Monday, is Grandmaster Nakamura's 32nd birthday. Happy birthday, Hikaru. Okay, so here's the game. So, yeah, so this is what I said. It was e4, c5, knight of 3, d6. I was white, d4. We go into the knight orf, of course. Uh, and it was this whole English attack with g4 and h4. Now, the thing is, I had many games in this opening uh, that I played at the Marshall Chess Club against uh, the famous Polish Grandmaster Alex Wojciechowicz. There were also a lot of prominent games at the time from, like, the NARS and other top events featuring Gary Kasparov and Vishwanathan Anand in this opening. Um, anyway, all pretty normal. But after Bishop H3 here, Daniel Fernandez forgot to play the move pawn to G5, which is the best move here to stop White's bishop from activating with the pawn push to G5. Um, so instead he goes takes, now after G5, he gets very, very dangerous. He plays knight D5, played G6. I rip open this diagonal towards this uh, pawn on E6. 
Knight c5, takes, takes, take on e4. Knight e3, queen e3, he goes queen b6. And now after knight e6, bishop e7, check, takes, queen b3, and bishop f5, he resigns. It was a little bit more than 17 moves, but very, very brief game. It was only 23 moves in total. When black blocks with a pawn on g6, white goes queen to f7, checkmate. So this was the final round of the 1999 U.S. Chess Cadet Championship in, um, in Nashville, Tennessee. All right, so let's, let's go back to our Reddit reacts. Let's keep going. I am losing, but at least I played the best move. Me, plays only legal move. Chess.com, I would like to award you the highest honor I can bestow. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> nice. Okay, what else do we have? Uh, thank you, Chesshair69. The guy who makes the 100th upvote so Hikaru reacts to your meme. Carefully, he's a hero. <laughs> yeah. So as as I've said before, um, when I get if there are a hundred or more likes or not like sorry upvotes on 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 the uh, on the post, then I will act, then I will cover it. So basically, yeah. If you have less than a hundred, you need that upvote so that I see it. Let's keep going. Okay. Hikaru, can you find the mate in one 130 moves? Yes, actually. Okay. So this mate in 130. I probably can't find it, but this is white to play and win. Let's see. So first move is queen d1. So it's queen d1, rook c1, queen d3, rook c2. Queen takes f1, rook c2. That's the first set of moves. Um, and then probably at the very end, the checkmate is... Um, at the end, the checkmate is going to be... Once you collect all the juicers, you come back to b3 at the end. I, 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 don't, I don't know the force mate, but it's something like queen d1, rook c1, queen d3, rook c1, queen f1, rook c1, um, <clears throat> queen d3, rook c2... And then you have to triangulate. Um, it's probably queen. Wait, you have to triangulate somehow. Uh, how do you triangulate this? Queen f5, rook c2. Queen d3, rook c2. Queen e4. Um, you have to triangulate, but uh, I'm not. I'm not going to go through go through it the whole way through. But there's some way that you capture everything at the end. I think it's queen b3 mate. Um, so I'm not gonna do it right now, but I'm pretty sure that's what it's not mating two. Let's keep going. Title goes here. Mom, can we have a can we have a queen? No, there is a queen at home. Queen at home. Um. <clears throat> what? Oh yes. Okay, I get it. The con yes, yes, I get. It. Now I get it. Yes, the rooks and the bishops are kids or the family or something. Yeah, I get it. I get it. No, now I get it. Yeah, the compensation. Right. Exactly. Um. I don't like this one. Your opponent said you play like a bot. You are playing chess. <laughs> yep. Okay, what else do we have? What is he car what he car is really looking at on the ceiling? Wait, hold on. Was that a blunder? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's a good one. That's really good. Um <laughs> No. <laughs> That's great. That's great. Not 100 upvotes. It got 96. I'll, I'll look at it. But anyway, um, yeah, this is really good. No, <laughs> that's a great. That's a great one. Well done. All right, you guys. Uh, so I think that's Reddit React. Everything else is below 100. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Some good ones there. Um, definitely a fan. Oh, yeah.